and I would love to show you all some of the creatures at our Sea Life Center. And these are representative of the Laguna Madre Bay. And look here, we have our touch tanks. And we feel the touch tanks are important so that children will love sea life. And if they love it, they'll take care of it. And we have wonderful different species of shells. Here we have a banded tulip that's alive. And here we have a pear whale, a beautiful pear whale with its white body alive. And our Texas State shell with another little shell sitting on his back, the Texas lightning whale with a beautiful black silky body. Now, when shells die, they lose all their mushy part inside and guess who moves in? The most wonderful recycling creatures, the hermit crabs. And here we have an example of a shell that's died and it's been recycled by the hermit crab. And here he's coming out to say hello. And when you find a shell on the beach that has a hermit crab in it, you have to think about who needs the shell more, you or the hermit crab. And we're gonna put him back in the water because he's the kind that lives in water. He doesn't live on land like the kind they sell in the pet shops. Those are land crabs. And so all the snails that die are recycled by the hermit crabs. Here's an anemone. I've never been able to say that since I watched Nemo, but it's an anemone, and it's nothing more than an attached jellyfish, and they're beautiful flowers of the sea. And that brings us to this tank over here that I call my flower garden, and it shows all the anemones. And look who's in the back. You can barely see them, but it's our lobster. And I'm gonna continue taking you over to one. This is a baby. You can see the back part of them here. It's a spiny mm -hmm. lobster like they have in the Caribbean. And they call it langosta. And as we come over this way, I'm gonna show you somebody that's absolutely incredible. And it's Spike. You're gonna get to meet Spike. Spike is our beautiful lobster who has grown up. Look at him. And he's my buddy. Isn't he beautiful? Yes, he is. Now, the most important thing about him is, this is how big we found him. It was very cold three years ago, and he was freezing to death, and we brought him in, and we thought he was dead. He was so stiff and cold. Well, he came to life, and look at all of his molts. Every time he got bigger and bigger and bigger, every time he molted. We love him, we never think about meeting him. And then one more thing I'd like to show you, our superhero, and he lives in here. And let me see if I can turn this so you can see him. Where'd you go? There he is. Here he comes out. That's our little superhero, the pistol shrimp. And he can create a tiny bubble of gas which explodes to stun and kill its prey. And that bubble also creates a flash of light which gets almost as hot as the sun. He's our little superhero, no more than an inch long. And so we're glad you came today and hope you enjoyed all of our wonderful creatures and there's many more, so come see us. This guy has to stay with us because his tail's been cut off and he can't be released into the wild. He has no way of protecting himself. He was caught by a fisherman and they cut off his tail. And I have a stingray barb if you want to see it. Would you like to show? I would love to show you. I'll get the key and bring you the stingray barb and you will see how dangerous this can be. Where's the key for Stingray barb, I keep it under lock and key because it can be very dangerous. Does this guy have a story as to um, why he's here? Yeah, this um, Atlantic stingray. Yeah. As you said, was caught, and then... Oh, the purple mouth mora. Oh, yes. yes. Very rare for this area. Extremely. And she was caught on a hook and brought to us, and she's revived from her in injury, and she'll probably stay with us. And she's doubled in size since we got her. Oh, it's great. But called purple mouth. I boring. see you have that now. So here is the uh, the stingray barb I was telling you about. 
and it would have been in the portion of the tail that was cut off, and this is their defense. And you can see that the barb is serrated, so it pushes through very easily, but when you try to pull down, it will not come out. So it has to be pushed through or work its way through a body Cut or surgically surgery. removed. And of course we know this is how we've lost several of our friends, um, unfortunately Steve Irwin, and one of our dolphins lost his life with a stingray barb in his heart as well. Mm. So, yep, but this guy is now defenseless and will stay with us. And it's quite tame, he's very, very sweet. Hey, come on. See, they, they, they get to be friends. Welcome to Space Center Houston. We're the official visitor center for Johnson Space Center. Of course, people often ask us, well, what do you do here in Houston anyway? We never launch from here and we never land here. Never have, never will. All the shuttles have launched out of Florida, Cape Canaveral, Kennedy Space Center, and we do try to land them all there. Houston is home to mission control for the manned missions. We also do a lot of research and development here, and we have the largest astronaut training facility. And for the most part, while the astronauts are training, they live right around this area with their families. This is a great place to live. Please come visit us here at Space Center Houston. We'd love to show you around. 